Hi, I'm hoping you can hear me now. On my end, it says you can. So, you know, hopefully that fixed whatever that problem was. Hi. Nope, everything, give everything a moment. There we go. Hi, yeah, I can see the levels on my screen now, so hopefully everything is working. If you are lurking, can someone please confirm or deny that you can hear me, please? Oh my goodness, I need to reopen substance. And uh I took my dashboard. Excuse me. You're all glad I've got my microphone back now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I can hear myself. Yeah. Speak! Oh, I think I can hear myself. Yes, I can. Speak! That is me from the past. It is working. Hi, Das! Been having microphone troubles. Please tell me you can hear me fine. I want to say no, I can't hear you so bad. Don't fucking test me, I'm having a morning. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. I haven't even had my breakfast yet because so much shit's been happening. <laughs> I just wanted to paint an Arcanine. This was supposed to be fun. Afternoon now. Yeah, that's how much that's how much my morning has been. That's how much of a morning it's been. It's now afternoon and I haven't had breakfast yet. Oh boy. Auspicious. To say the least. Okay. At least I can start now, almost an entire hour late. Ugh. I'm gonna very need Minecraft tonight. Food consumed. Let's get to what I actually want to do. Substances to get itself in gear as usual. Right. 
Well, I hope your morning's been better than mine. <laughs> But it's a contest. I do wonder how that's going to stretch when the elbow, when the uh, shoulder bends down. That's something I'll have to look at in Unity. Somehow ended up really twisted again. I don't know how that always ends up happening. Excuse me. I'm probably gonna... Oh, well, I should open up my reference for a start. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of, um, like, shading gradient uh, under the cream. I think you can very much say that the main the main is growing out over the top of the uh, the body body of the fur. You get me. Suddenly we have different colours. Holy shit! This thing has other colours. Suddenly it's shiny, and then suddenly it's me in another universe. Right, what I actually... 
actually want is uh, let's go that color. Good morning, Core. How you doing? Opposite on the belly because looking at um, the fur direction on the picture here, that to me looks like the orange fur is kind of going over the black fur of the belly. Because also, when you think about like animals in real life, they generally have like thinner fur on their belly. Generally. I'm probably going to put uh, these in a folder. Ellie, put you in there. And then make another one. Turn everything off. Ellie, shade. when I clicked on the shadowy bit. I don't want to go lighter on the stripe, so I guess we will go darker. Wrong one. Uh, add a black mask. See how that looks. I think that is the intended effect. I'm going to leave it off for now because I haven't really fully defined the shape of the belly markings yet. Stripes, though, I'm going to 
there and I'm gonna put the mask on the layer. New thing that I've learned that you can do is put the mask on the layer because then if I put shading in the layer it will retain the like clipping mask. Oh this is also showing me a lot clearer where I've sort of gone over with some of the bean stuff actually so let's fix that first. Think, like overflowing hugely at any rate. So we're putting the mask on the group. So that if I were to draw a stripe here and then add in another layer again it's still clipped to the thing as a whole okay, that color I'm gonna put it in here as well in preparation Ugh. Well, I'm definitely going to be overrunning into lunch, quote-unquote, because I didn't start for ages. I don't exactly want to go for lunch when I only just had my breakfast, because of everything taking so long. Oh, there's a thick and a thin one. Oh, the thick one. So 
I was just checking something, a, a thought had occurred. Here comes a thought. Right, I'm gonna need to find the 3D one again so I can see how the stripes go around the back. Oh, they actually don't go around the back. Okay, well, let me look at let me look at archers in real life. stripes don't go round its back. They kind of like go up into the mane. The, the, so the, the like stripe that you can see in like the art and stuff that looks like it, it goes on the back, it kind of um just goes to, it goes to like midpoint on the side. So it goes to like there and goes up into the mane like that, quote unquote. Kind of like on the shoulders, but I think for this uh, anthro design, we're gonna put it more on the back here. Oh, this is just a rough. I don't need to be too exact. This is just the rough. And then the actual like back there doesn't have any stripes on it. And then you have the one that goes kind of into where the tail is. So where where does our tail connect? It connects there. So it goes into the tail. Like that. And then the other stripe. Now on on the plushie, it goes into the tail, but the plushie is sitting down. On the model and on the artwork, but on the artwork I can't tell because we can't see from behind, but on the model, it actually goes under the tail. It goes like this. And comes comes round, and this is where the anthro like we got to take liberties because that is that essentially is pointing towards Arcanine's, for lack of a better term, knee. I mean, I don't know why I said that. That is Arcanine's knee. That comes under the tail and points at his knee. We are not really going to manage to do that here because of like the sharpness of the angle. So we are going to have to like curve a little bit to get it, but that's probably going to go to like there, I think. We might curve around a little bit just so we can see it from the front. Is kind of just on the. I guess that you would say that it's like about here. If we're taking like approximations, I may add in an extra stripe. I think we might do a creative creative liberty. I don't know. What do you, what do you think, guys? Arkine only has three stripes on its back leg, quote unquote. But obviously, because of our anthro proportions, we're having to sort of stretch them out a little bit. So it would kind of go like that. Because it doesn't meet it doesn't meet up with the belly, but it gets close. So it would get to like there. It feels a little, but then it feels a little bare to me. So, like, I don't know if we want to do like a third one here, just like a sneaky third stripe. I 
guess that kind of makes up for the fact that you kind of can't see that one. Because I don't want to bring this one too far round to the front because it's only a short stripe. On the, on the design, it's actually it, this one's quite short. It doesn't come round very much, so I don't want to really bring it round too much. So I guess adding in that third one at the bottom kind of... It kind of, yeah, I feel like without that, that looks a little empty, almost. And also that you could make an argument that even though we have got three stripes, we're not quite meeting the rule of threes because that one kind of isn't being paired with these ones. Whereas if we put one here, we've got our three stripes and things tend to, tend to naturally look better in groups of three, as I was told. Could be why there are three starters, who knows. Now, if I am going to put in this extra stripe, I feel like maybe I should try to follow this sort of flow that we've got going up. So instead of going across the leg like that, we're going to go like diagonally up here. And this follows this kind of flow that we've got. And again, I feel like maybe I want to bring it around a little more. So it can be seen from the front a bit, even though Arcanine stripes don't actually come around that far. Artistic liberties. Clients design is clearly not an Arcanine as it has four stripes, not three. <laughs> Don't sue me, Nintendo. <laughs> Legally distinct fire dog. You will not find the word Arcanine anywhere on this product. Although that doesn't seem to have stopped any other people from from doing it. <laughs> if you if you search Arcanine, a bunch of VR chat textures come up that are just called Arcanine. <laughs> Including one for the Volpa. It happened twice, guys. I said I wanted to do an Arcanine texture for the Nova. Someone else did it first. I wanted to do an Arcanine texture for the Volpa. Someone else did it first. I'm doing the Jex one. <laughs> I'm doing the Jex one. <laughs> Someone's already done one for Dante. This model's been out like three days. So they put the three stripes on the thigh there, and they've opted to put some black on the butt. Fuck those haters, yours is better. Oh, thank you. I haven't, I haven't done one yet. That is what Spook said. I, I was sitting there going, I'm not going to do one because someone else did one. He was like, do one anyway. Yours might be better. And I was like, no, I don't know. I'm slightly biased. Yes, so, so is he. <laughs> it's kind of neat looking at all of these ones, though, and seeing uh, how different people have interpreted it, though. It's like that. This, this one, this one. 
here has gone for putting three stripes on the thighs and not having any on the lower legs. This one's gone a bit more like how mine is, where you've got that there and then this one lower down. But they actually don't have three. Oh, I suppose there you go. There's the third one there. And then that's two and that's three. So that one's quite quite a bit more accurate to how it looks. This one's very nice, actually. I quite like this one. Yeah, with the one going up there. That one's quite nice. But this one's got the tail and mane and the fluffs to sort of match it. Uh, this person went for four. This person went for the four. One, two, three. And then opted to instead to do I like I kinda like this because they've got they've done more of an artistic interpretation. They've put gradients on the arms and paws. That's actually kinda nice because it's kinda kinda different. They put a little bit of a artistic flair on it. There's, again, theirs follows the um, follows the eye, which is technically how it should go, but mine doesn't because I felt like it didn't look right. And that's another thing that some people have done differently. They didn't follow the eye, they didn't follow the eye there. They did on that one, they did on that one, so yeah. Looks like he's fucking tired. That's just the face. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of it's kind of neat. The vol the vulpa they went really hard on it. Look, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. They put a bunch on there. So that's kind of neat. That there's just you can there are people who do do them, but everybody has their kind of own interpretation. like on the verge of taking Archer off his uh, little stand that he likes to sit on and like bringing in rounds uh, here so I can look at him. If I could resist the urge to just sit and cuddle him for the afternoon. <laughs> Need it. So, hmm. On the 
shoulder. It's it looks kind of diamond shapey almost. It's like that that one comes down here and then that one comes down. Obviously from this angle you can't see there, but looking at the model, it does kind of look like they connect actually. And if I turn and look at Archer, yeah, that does kind of look like they connect. They, can, they kind of connect at the belly. Which is interesting. How are we going to interpret that? It kind of, it's kind of like a shoulder one, but it goes down his side, so it kind of like, hmm. So it'd be kind of like doing this sort of shape. And then having it come back like this. Not qu it's not quite how it looks. At least the, for the forearm is going to be somewhat easy, I think, because that's like a, a zigzag uh, all around. Although again, it connects up to the elbow. It like the stripe is really thick and like takes up the entirety of the arm. Quote unquote. That, so that would be like our upper arm up to our shoulder here. And then this would be our forearm where the elbow is. So that's another bit of like artistic interpretation. So it would probably I'd probably go down so that we are going on the forearm, even though I think going looking at that, it technically goes up from the fluff. But I think I'm gonna go down from the fluff so that we have stripe on the forearm. And then it will come up, down there, and then we come back up into the, into the fluff. I think that looks alright. Yeah, it's this one which is kind of the head scratcher, actually. I'm gonna do walkie for a mental, see you later. Bye! I will do the same at some point. I will do the same at some point. I'm probably gonna go to half one. Since we started late because of all the faff. And I don't exactly want lunch right now. I'm gonna drink water though. Drink water, everybody. argument made for having that stripe go under the arm. That would definitely be going into artistic interpretation territory. That would come down like that and go down here. Because that's kind of what that does. It doesn't actually get- this stripe doesn't go on the arm. It goes back along the side and then down to the belly. What if we just rotated that 90 degrees? So it's like coming down coming down. Cause it, it's parallel with that stripe. So it's parallel with that one. So we would have it come come down like this. And then connect up with the body. 
like that. Can make that thicker as well. I think I think all of these stripes can be thicker just in general. Hi, dragon! Hello! Thank you. How you doing? Friday, I'm doing wonderful. Nice. We like to hear that. I might lower this. So where do I want to put this, like, this other stripe? Because this one, like, hmm. It's weird because in, in, the, in the art for the Arcanine, the one stripe that we're missing is this one, which goes from his chest to his belly over his arm, which doesn't work in anthro perspective at all. Because that would basically just do that. I would just do that kind of thing, which doesn't really work in my head. So how how do we do this? Hey, nice shirt, asshole. I couldn't help but feel there's been a communication breakdown between the Does feel like we need a stripe on this on this upper arm, because our forearm's got one. I do kind of like having this go like around the back of the arm. I do like that. That that gets this shape kind of across. I guess we would have it come like across. And it's sort of down the back. Probably how that would go. Hmm. Hmm. 
sleep as victim, I'd begun to feel my host body had become quarrelsome and resistant. Hello? Who's speaking? I am me. I am you. You are me. We are Louis. I don't care. Who, what, why is, oh my god, what did you do to him? I am Louis. I am Louis. I am Louis. I was beginning to feel, mm. no, no beginning to feel, no reflective gonzo journalism, and no... It's like a sharp angle there. Louis was meant to resolve conflicts. You're just creating more pain. There is no pain. No hurt. There can be no suffering if there is only Louis. I am Louis. I am Louis. This is your house, is it? Stop it now. This is too niche a content. Silence, mortal. You have invoked Louis within your own mind. And for that, there is no content too niche. No reference too obscure. No logical progression of joke too stupid and absurd. With thine eyes, we see all. Every conceivable past. You need to, like, lower that shape. Yeah. Have it be lower, but still keep this this shit. I was beginning to feel. Oh, banger of a track. Yeah, that kind of that looks that looks okay on all of the all of the shapes. Get it in a little tighter, maybe. It's interesting how the moving of the mesh, like, influences the, uh, texture lines. I think we're gonna leave that there. Save that. Um. Yeah, I feel like that's probably just our best call. I don't think I want to bring it, like, under the arm, because then I feel like the front is getting too busy on the upper bit. So like basically I don't think I want to do this. But do I? Actually it doesn't look awful. <laughs> or do I? Doubt. Press X to doubt. Doesn't look awful. I feel like I need to be able to see it with its arms down, but that kind of actually brings it together with the forearm stripe.
Again, this is our artist artistic interpretation because that that stripe just goes from chest down to belly and doesn't loop uh, underneath. There's only, the, the only one that goes around is the one on the on the lower leg. But I think it looks all right, actually. Even though I'm not going to include them, I do feel like... My brain feels like we could put some, like, striping on the feathers and it would, like, tie it in nicely. I say I'm not going to include them. It's a, a lot of the photos that I take will probably be of this kind of ear because this is what Arcanine's ear is like. It doesn't have feathers on it. But because the Jex comes with the feathers, I think I will put a pattern on them. Same with the fancy tail. Uh, let me copy that hex code. It's neat how the um, black stripes, quote unquote, on Arcanine, one are not black, they're mostly grey, uh, but two have a hint of blue in them, which helps make them pop against the orange. Contrast. It's almost like the designers at Pokemon do kind of know what they're doing. I guess I want to make- I'll make a folder. Feathers. And we'll make a fill layer inside that folder. Substance has a think. something like this. It's my own it's my own Little zigzags on all of the uh, feathers. That'll kind of make it pop from the default because the default jacks just have lines like that. Or is the zigzag is the zigzag overworking it? Hmm. So yeah, the default jacks ears just kind of have stripes like that. <laughs> Mesh getting in the way. just like a V. Yeah, maybe the V is better. I think like the kind of W shape was maybe too busy.
Hmm. How do I want to do this? Because originally, I'd kind of thought about doing some bright colours, you know? Like, I was going to go for, like, like, some bright reds and bright orange to be, like, fire type. That's uh, uh, I talked about before. Like that's the Jex hot Jex's whole thing is bright colours. <sighs> I feel like I don't want the feathers plain. That much I think I, I can agree on, even if the feathers aren't the main thing. I don't want to just leave them plain, I do want to include some pretty feathers. In the default Jex feathers have, like, stripes. I believe it's three. Front and back. Yeah, one, two, three. You can see that the third one is kind of dark, so that's why you can't see it very well. Very much looking at, like, the red one. This layer. I'm going to put it under feathers. I'm going to clear the mask. Maybe that's a bit better. You could have like a black stripe and then cream tips.
Maybe that's more of a vibe. Yeah, I think maybe that's the vibe. Maybe that's the vibe. We embrace making them more arcanine -y rather than trying to make them Jex ones. As much as I love Jex's vibrant colours, maybe maybe the, the play here is to play into the Arcanine vibes. And then I guess that means we would end up doing the same on uh, these feathers. delete those. I think sticking to the Arcanine colours is probably the way to go for a more unified design. I suppose, I suppose if we're adding in, when we start adding in more colours, we start deviating from our from our original design of, of an Arcanine. And the colours start to get more, more busy. That already feels like it's part of it, right? That already feels like it's part of the same design. And I suppose it's slightly reminiscent of actual, like, bird feather markings. ping-pong back over to here. This is how we this is how we do everything, is we, we ping pong from section to section. I'm gonna go back to what I was starting to do, which was uh, sort of tufting in on our cream area. Turning those off does not remove them. I still haven't decided if I'm going to try and do my own eye texture. I've just recolored the pre the existing one to sort of see how it all looks. I try and draw over this, I'm just going to end up drawing on the eyebrow, aren't I? Or am I? Yeah, there's not really, there's no way for me to like turn that off to see, because I kind of want to do like a tuft underneath the eyebrow and then have another one above the eyebrow. Because I think you can toggle them off. Wait, can you toggle them off? You might not be able to toggle them off. You can toggle their shape. See how these ones are really thin. You can toggle their shape, but I don't think you can toggle them off. So 
might be okay. So I guess I'll just do the one over the eyebrow that I want to do. That's already looking nicer. And then we change direction and have it go the other way on this bit. We could do like a little tufting here. I actually can't zoom in, in anymore, but I want to be able to zoom in more. <laughs> Okay. 
I'm liking that. As much as I like this strand that I did here, I, I need to change it, I think, to better match the idea that the fur is changing direction here. a bit of dust on my screen. Too exuberant with that stroke. I need to do bigger tufts on this bit, I think, in because we've got bigger tufts here. We can go bigger. because people look at the face. The face needs to look good.
like I was gonna sneeze them, but then I didn't. Scared it away. That was the sound of the rain, it was just uh, the wind being exceedingly extra. So I was like, well, it's not, it's not rain, I, I want to go for a walk. I didn't really get to walk yesterday because of the crap weather. We're gonna start getting into that time of year where I won't be able to walk every day because the rain and the weather will be bad. Try and do a little bit of like so like a little bit of volume. Hi, Rodan. How are the babies? what it is about this tough that upsets my brain. I actually knocked one of the tubes off the girl mouse cage while one of the babies was in there. She was a little panicked but only wanted in the cage and she could get to catch. Aww! Aww, baby! Quite a shock for her.
It was a shapoo on my hand. Well, she was scared, so that's understandable for a laminal. And how are the ratters? How are the how are the ratters taking all this? Thinking. It does look fine. I think I think I'm overthinking. Maybe it's because I want the volume up more. Like coming up here. Squeak Bert, the aggressive boy mouse has chilled out since being separated now for support against the secret person in his little box whenever I put my finger on it. Oh, that's so cute! He was just being hormonal because he was with all the whammon. <laughs> Some things. I'm kind of looking basically at some of the community jexes to see if. Um, uh, see what kind of uh, patterns, if any, anyone puts on their. Uh, ears. It's just mostly chat though, which is fair. Mostly discussion. Whereas I want to see see some peaks of people's models. Yeah, I'm not seeing 
anything. So if anything, that's already kind of cool because uh, that means that ours are a little different rather than just being re recolor of the pre-existing one. He was from the territory because he was in the cage with the boys. Oh. Just being a lad. Yeah, I can't say I see anybody doing different patterns on their feathers per se, so I, that that kind of makes me want to carry on doing the different patterns. This is where the neck fur is, so we want them to be kind of big. Lovely to see you! And welcome back, Das. How was your walk? It was a walk. I uh, got me mints for dinner and did my due diligence as partner and annoyed the frog, the usual. Fair. Fair. Good yourself. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Always like the little gleam in Arkane and Growler's eyes in the animes. Yeah. They have, um, they, they, it, I looked at the artwork and stuff. They don't have, like, black pupils. They have white pupils. I love them. Arcanine's my fave, as is commonly known. Puppies! Good puppies! That's the idea, at least. Yeah, it's the idea. I think with, with Growlithe they do have pupils, actually, when you look at the artwork, because they kind of shade it. But when you look at Arcanine's artwork, it looks like it's the pupil. So Growlithe has like that dark shadow there. 
but when we look at Arcanine's official artwork, that's that seems like that's the pupil. And you can see it in the 3D model. 3D Arcanine jump scare. So it's interesting, it's interesting. I love them, they're good dogs. They're good dogs, Brent. 3D Arcanine jump scare. <laughs> ah! Okay, I asked for that. Tidy up some of this area. Thank you for the save reminder. every time you're all as adhd as me one person redeems something and then someone else in the chat goes oh yeah there's redeems and then proceeds to redeem fucking everything <sighs> you're all the same and you're all predictable Yes, my mic has been fixed. Hello. Predicts why? Can you predict this? What, that you're going to do the abduct? Or throw an arcanine at me? Or wait for me to say it so you can do something different? Are we doing sound redeem? You're an amazing person and we love you. Ah, heck! <laughs> Psychic damage. Ah! Oh, that's where the scene is. Cool. I don't really want to put that on the scene. <laughs> what is that furry girl? What? Me? Seems very Arcanine colour. You would be correct, it is. I'm colouring it to be Arcanine coloured. What is it a, a model for what i'm curious this is another vr chat model so i think all of the work that you have seen me doing in 3d they have all been for vr chat models um the last one we were doing on the little lizard was uh a model that i had made this is a model that someone else has made that i am doing a texture for to make look like an arcanine this is a jex it is by kudlin uh i love them very much they're one of my favorite like VR models, if not my favourite one. And, um, yeah. So, the, the model itself was not made to be an Arcanine. The Jex is its own thing. This is what a, this is what a Jex is. 
So the, the model is not made to be an Arcanine. I'm doing that bit. This is, this is what a Jex is. Nice. Yeah, they're cool. I love them a lot. I love their colors, especially. I am a big fan of the Jex, and people who have been here a long time know this. I like Jexes a lot. And so I am making stuff for them. You should make a void consume Jex thing. Yeah, I might. I am. I'm very at the moment. I'm very much in the vibe of I want to make some of my own stuff for a bit. I like make stuff I want to make, uh, and I want to make stuff to put on the store. I might. I have finally cleared my commission queue, which is why I'm now working on this. Um, I might soft open my commissions in that they'll be open, but I'm not really publicly advertising it a lot because uh, the queue is empty. I did I did all of the the commissions that I had uh, backed up. If you want Blue to do designs, you got to commission <laughs> This is true. This is true. Yeah. Uh, I want to do... S I want to put some stuff on my store, basically. So, this is what I'm currently doing. Currently doing uh, Jack's texture. Uh, but I, I want to do stuff that I want to do for a bit. But, as I said, I might, I might soft open. Where I'm just going to put that there. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to plug it on any of my socials. So basically, a, it's it's a if you're in the know. It's an if you're in the know. My comms are open. As we put the uh, we did the Digifox for the Volpa. We did this. Someone did buy it. They did not leave a rating. That does make me sad. But I'm very happy that someone did buy it. And I had a lot of fun doing that. We made the gloves for it as well. Um, so I want to do more. I want to do more stuff to put. Uh, this texture was 15 because it is a texture and gloves. The Jex texture is going to be cheaper because it's just a texture. It's not going to have uh, stuff with it. You see, my store, my store only has three things. I want to put more things on the store. And I get to make things that I want to make. It's a gesture. Yes, you've made the joke multiple times, Cole. We get it. No, but it's funny, and I'm gonna use it. Ah! I like digital art, so do I. My website has been updated, by the way, for anybody who wants to actually go look at that. It's a bit more organized than just scrolling through my social media. Uh, we've got the new cobble on the front page. We've got the new one on the front page. And new cobble and the stuff that we've done for Pirate and Calamity. You can tell what's old because of the stuff with the grey background. There's the Digifox, there's Boz's Retexture, and here's a couple of older ones as well. And also our digital art has been updated. There's Bennett's painting, there's Pirate and Bennett's uh, shaded ones, there's the Latias we did. So the website's been updated for anyone who wants to have a peruse around there. It's also where my commission TOS is, so if you want to commission me, you need to go there and read it. View my solid concrete drawing, please. <laughs> In your spare time. Hey, we have an art channel if you join if you join the Discord that Das plugged. Which you did! Hello. Thank you. Hey, 
That was so great! I love I love the, the meme draw over. The meme draw overs are very good. Very nice. I like the uh coloured coloured line art on the Stargazer one. That's very nice. I like your use of colours. I'm I'm a big fan of colours, if you couldn't tell. I'm mostly following the the line of this normal, but I am gonna have a tuft up. Stargazer, yeah. Crazy thing is, uh, I did that on WhatsApp. Uh, when you send a pic, you can draw of it. That's cool. That's cool. I don't have the commitment to use other paints. <laughs> Understandable. I'm lazy, I just use the WhatsApp drawing tool. <laughs> you can get decent drawing tools on, on mobile these days. And I also think that you can get drawing tablets that work with mobiles, which is very interesting. I've seen them in a video, never used one myself. Right, I definitely need to like actually smooth the chest, the chest bit. I think I've also taken it too low, I think, for Arcanine. I'm going to try there instead. Yeah, I think that's a little bit nicer. tempted to like tease this in the Jex Discord, but I think I want to get it more completed. Like I said, I feel like maybe, even though they look really nice, maybe I should do my own eyes. That way I can practice doing eyes, because that's another thing, is like making making stuff for the store is me getting in practice. Which is also good. So yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'll say I'll say that my comms are open, but I'm not pushing them. wonder what it, it's a, throw money at you shortly. <laughs> yes, it's called the donate button. <laughs> That's a joke, you don't have to do that.
Okay. Damn, you can tell I, I, I'm into this because that uh, did kind of fly by. Uh, it is now basically two o'clock. Um, so I've very firmly gone into what should be my uh, lunch break. But again, we started late, so I don't mind. Um, but if I want to have time to go for a walk and eat food, I should go. Uh, don't be surprised if I am late coming back because of uh, me losing track of time. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a squeeze to squeeze in walk and lunch, but I, I will do my best. I should be back in an hour. I should be back in an hour. Hopefully we don't have any issues coming back, like we had tech issues this morning. Yeah, we've got, we've got like, the markings all roughed in. We are just going to be refining and refining and refining and refining. So you see how everything is all blobby. We want to get everything looking nice and sharp and getting the tufts in like we have around the face and stuff. I guess we're kind of like working our way down as we do the face and now we've done the neck and stuff. But yeah, so I'm gonna... I am gonna put markings on feathers so that people can use them if they want. So probably still quite a bit to do, even, even for a design. I was about to say it's not complex, but I mean it's got quite a few stripes, so I suppose it is a, it's a mid mid complexity with all the all of the stripes on it. But yeah, I'm liking I'm liking the little bits of gradienting uh, that we've got around the face. Just add a slight bit of depth. Which is nice. I'm going to be doing that all over. You can see I've got a little bit here, but we'll be doing it on the belly, uh, probably on the stripes as well. So yeah, I'm pra practicing getting my textures looking good. So yeah, I should probably do my own eyes so I can practice doing eyes as pretty as the, the uh, pre-existing eyes are. Right, uh, I will see you in an hour's time. I hope to see you then. Please take care. Remember, it's community night tonight. We are playing on the Minecraft server, details of which can be found in the Discord. I'll see you later. Bye! Ah! What happened? Wait, has, it, has my microphone stopped working again? God damn it! It is working? Oh god. It did this this morning. Oh my god, what has even happened? So much has happened, I gotta scroll back so much. How many subs is that? Ah! How many subs is that? Oh my god. What's happening? Like twenty eighty five. Oh, my God, thank you. Five and then Twitch gifted gifted one and then and then like another another five from Core and Twitch added one on top of that. Oh my god. And then Hope gave another five. And Twitch gifted another three. And then Hope gave another five. <laughs> And Twitch gave another one on top of that. <laughs> Call has been bested by Twitch. And then Pirate's given one to Avalon. <laughs> ah. You guys can hear me. 
but you guys can hear me because when this happened this morning, this is telling me that my microphone is not making any sound. And I had to restart my computer to fix it, so I don't particularly want to restart again. Ah! I don't know what is wrong with it today. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. Too many things are happening. You're a little low, but I hear you fine. Uh, that's what happened. That's what happened. The mic was like really, really quiet and kind of shit. And it was bad. Hang on, I'm gonna have to listen to myself. I need to listen to myself. Can I, I need hear to this? Listen to myself. Okay, that does sound fine. Can I, I hear this? Listen to myself. Okay, that, that that sounds fine. A hype chest. What is a hype chest? Oh, I got a raccoon. I got a raccoon. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. That's so funny that Twitch is third in the listings. Uh. Wait, no, is Twitch Twitch is second. Wow. Thank you, Hope. Thank you, Core. And Pyra, you helped as well. Thank you, everybody. Oh my god. What number are we on? Is the counter up to date? We're on 96. Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank you, everyone. What a day. <laughs> What a day. <laughs> wow. Ah! Ah! It's... 95 now, 96. Yeah, according to my dashboard, the counter's never been accurate. You you remember hope the hope that the, the the counter's never been fully uh accurate. That's wild. That's wild. Ah. Okay. Well, I need I need I need you guys to be on microphone, Judy, then. I have literally no point of reference for what my microphone is doing. It is not working. I don't know if Streamlabs needs to send out an update. I don't know if they've updated and broke something because it did this it did this exact same thing this morning. Ugh. Hi. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Oh <laughs> I love you guys. What you're saying is that saying we can't hear you is an easy troll. Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> Stop trying to make a joke out of it. I'm being very serious right now. It's broken. Because <laughs> if you troll me into thinking my microphone's not working, I'll end the stream in order to try to fix it. <laughs> Which I don't want to do. <laughs> Anyway, what I want to do is I want to keep working on this texture. Fixing audio scuff is very difficult. It is. Hope knows this. It is. It's very difficult. I had this problem this morning, and and, and but people actually couldn't hear me, and the only way I could fix it was to restart everything. I had to end stream. I had to end morning stream and start again. Uh, I'm gonna. Have, I don't. I really hope it doesn't do this tonight. That's not a good sign that it's done it twice. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to not let it bother me right now, and I'm just gonna carry on working on this because I'm having a good time working on this. Anyway, how is everybody's day going? Thank you very much. A real. Of, I bought. I just bought a lot of negative energy here, and I don't want that. I want happy energy. So thank you, thank you everyone for the love and support. Always, always appreciate. Drink the tea.
tired mostly from waiting. Oh dear. What were you waiting on? I'm gonna have to get a new ID so I can buy alcohol. Fair enough. You're into alcohol? That's important. Classes. Uh, of course, classes have started up again. Of course. Fun. Fun. Ugh. Five hours, five hours sleep does not help. Oh my god. Could you just not get to sleep or were you doing stuff? Sweep well, and I gotta wake up at uh, six fifteen a.m. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah, I get, I get that sometimes of just not being able to sleep very well. I just have the, I have the luxury of being able to sleep in late, but eh. I always go to bed late. I just have a different sleep schedule. That's all, basically. I'm probably awake the same amount of time as most people, but my sleep schedule is just shifted. Quick question, my pants and hand ramps uh, must be set to untoggle by default. How would I uh, in inverse that? Um, it should when you get into VR chat, it should like remember it. If you're just doing the tests in like Unity, like when you when you get into VR chat, it should remember the settings, so it shouldn't matter. But if it is, um. I, I think I can change it, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't matter. Uh, it doesn't remember it when you're doing a test avatar because it reloads it afresh every time. But once it's actually uploaded to VR Chat and like when you load in from world to world, VR Chat should remember your settings. So it shouldn't be a problem. You know, I, uh, when I test it in VRC, then thank you. It's okay. It's because I didn't have them told on by default because I need them to like turn on the blend shape. If that makes sense, that's what that's why those two items have a toggle. Is because they have a blend shape associated with them, uh, which is the clothing uh, fix blend shape to stop them from clipping. So that that's why those two are like that.
It's almost October, real. It is. It is. We're almost there. We're going to be having another charity event. Last September community night. Oh my god, you're right. That means, uh, let's see. Um, Monday I can continue working on this, and then Tuesday I should technically start the uh, highlights video. Oh my god, I feel like I just did the last one. <laughs> That's looking nice. That's looking nice. Drink tea. Drink tea. Wah. okay on the other chests. I'd say it does at the moment, yes. Let's do some of the back, back area. Okay, so I'm probably gonna do it with the hair out the way. quite big so I think I'm gonna have like a little one come off of it. We're doing another charity event in October. I haven't really planned or addressed it yet and I believe I have actually had a message from my contact again today. I saw it over my lunch break but I didn't have time to read it. Um, but I probably should actually go and look at setting that up. Um, it's the same people as before, it's Gamers Outreach, people looking to get uh, the gaming go-karts into hospitals. Um, and the last one was the summer 
the VTuber Summer Slam was the full name of the event for the summer, and it was for a week. This one is, um, I, I hate that I've actually forgotten the full title of it. Open my email. The full is the Spooktacular Streamathon, and it runs for the whole month, but I am probably gonna be doing, like, maybe not a full week, it's probably gonna be similar to the, su the summer, where I do, I'm probably gonna do two, three, maybe four days, um, dedicated to it. Uh, but if it start, I'm guessing that they have messaged me today because it is also it was almost October, so they want probably want us to do all of the setup and get like the um, the Tiltify uh, link all set up again. Because it'll be a fresh one. So that's probably. I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to do it today. Um, I was about to say maybe I should break my rule and do it on Saturday. No, I shouldn't break my rule. If you break the rule for something small or big, you break the rule for something small. So I guess I'll have to address it on Sunday. Probably going to be a bit different as well because I think I might do different stuff. I think, I think I might do different stuff this time. Also, apparently, I've got a better—I I have a better idea of what you guys are capable of because last time I was like, "Oh my gosh, we'll, ri we'll raise like fifty pounds," and you guys were like, "Ha, bet." And when you know that Bois has entered into my casual lexicon, so thanks for that. <laughs> Loading up VR chat. Perceived. A river runs north through the mountain pass through the tree top trees and the violet skies. Reality prepares my illusion as I drift, drift away into the night. 
Oh, that reminds me, I was gonna add one of Whisper's songs to the playlist. The birds and the foxes sang. Ah, <sighs> drink tea to soothe throat. Hi. You okay? Yeah, you. I've talked with Spook a little bit about some of the ideas I have for this one, but I might uh, talk with some of the mods about it as well, just to get a variety of opinions. I got six years to make it all happen. And I can't even pay electricity. I watch cars go by on the motorway station Life go by a video tape The night in the woods to find direction I don't know where to go I don't know where to go It's not remembering the pants or wraps. Okay, I will have to have a look then. Are you doing it on a test avatar or have you properly uploaded it? Upload. Oh, weird. It shouldn't do that, so I will go double check. I will double check settings. Or good, do it in your spare time. <laughs>
remembering your settings. Save between worlds. Right. I think that is all I missed. I think that was all I missed. So let me show you again on 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 this. Watch closely. So you're in. You're in the hierarchy here at the side. Got lucky. You go down to wraps. Over here on the inspector, you want to go for the VRC Fury toggle, this one here at the bottom. Next to the, the path, there's an options button just here. Click on that, and there's a setting right there that says saved between worlds. Click. And then a little thing appears right there that unfortunately you can't see because of the music player. Can you turn the music player off real quick? A little thing there now that says saved. There's just a little thing there that says saved. Do that on both of them. It was just a setting I forgot to enable. That should fix it. Wow. You're welcome. Look at these T-posing cobbles. Look at them all. Look at them all. I need to put the goggles on mine. I need to put my goggles and wings on. The more cobbles I the more different cobbles I see, the more excited I get. And like the more that they vary as well, it also gets me excited. The more that they differ from the default one as they get customized makes me more excited. But there we go. That that is that should just be it. It, it should just be that. It's just a, a setting that I forgot to enable, which is the saved between worlds. Could technically put default on as well, but that's I don't know how those two would interact, so you know. Playing with playing with things that you don't know, you know. Default on automatically enables the proper animation when the avatar loads. This is useful for idle animations or props that should be on by default. A toggle set to default on will always be shown in the avatar's rest pose. The rest pose describes the in-game avatar selector during the full body calibration, and for users who have disabled your avatar's custom animations, you can still disable it in the toggle menu. So you can turn default on if you want. According to what I just read in the documentation, if you want, you can turn default on. And it should be fine. Anyway, there we go. Easy fix. This is this is why I was like, hey, use VLC Fury. VLC Fury is great. VLC Fury is uh, is great. Ooh. I was fidgeting with the tassel on the clothing I'm wearing, and have caused the knot at the end of it to become undone from my fidgeting. I've, had, I've now had the official invitation, even though we, we'd already had notices from uh, uh, from them before about uh, the um, words about the gamers outreach thing. I'd had notice notices from them before, but now they've sent me like the official the official notice to be like, hey, we want to win. Get you joining, and I'm like, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do.
lovely to see you. How is everyone today? We're doing okay. It's been a roller coaster of a day. It's been ups and downs. Ups and downs. <laughs> but I'm doing all right. How are you? How is that looking on the mane at the back? That is still looking fine. today so if you want me to pop in VR or open up my Pokemon world I can. Ah, okay. <laughs> I was about to ask, I, I, just, I was literally about to ask you of like, if you opened it and I just AFK'd in your world would you be okay to do stuff? But that feels a bit like I'm taking liberties. That feels like I'm taking liberties of just getting you to do stuff for me. That feels a bit mean. <laughs> I do I do want to get photos of the, the three cobbles together. That's probably going to be a weekend thing. Definitely not going to have time today. But I would love to get photos of our three cobbles. main sort of sources. We've got the face bit tufted, the back bit tufted, the shoulder tufted. We haven't tufted the chest yet though. So actually we still have a bit to do. Oh my goodness, wall of text. That was yesterday for me. First, I had a, a big fight with a friend because he wouldn't talk to me about being bothered about something. He wouldn't tell me, even though I'm directly bothered about it from a friend. He talks it out and works it out fine. I always hurt a bunch because, in the end, it was uh, that he thought I was favouring another friend over him, which is not the case. But he set that deep into his mind and that hurt a lot for me. Oh, that, that sucks. Following that in the nice, another completely unrelated friend used some rather bad language and it comes to a person I am without realising it, so he talks it out with the uh, help of another friend. Oof. Oof, I'm sorry, V. I'm sorry. It it really it does hurt to have to pull pull people up. I'm sorry you had to go through that. It's uh it's not pleasant. No, not pleasant at all. On the flat chest it looks a little hmm, I think I wanna curve it more.
I'm worried I'm just pu pulling, up, pulling up too much now is the thing. If there was a shit show like the friend that felt like I was choosing someone else over as a friend that is very close and I care deeply about so that hurt and I was afraid from abandoning me because I was chill with other people and glad it ended up well. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. It's 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 also it's like awkward as well when it's like someone has like this weird jealousy as well as the thing. It's like you should it, it, it's really rough. It, I, I don't. It's always feel horrible. It always feels horrible when you, to be like you shouldn't feel this way. But it's like yeah, you should. You shouldn't because there's nothing to worry about, you know. It's just it's rough. That isn't a mark on my screen. That is a mark on there. I literally cleaned my screen. I did finally get my architecture commission results, and I love it. So there's at least one positive. Hey, that's nice. Show me pictures. This is a friend or a friend because a friend being upset with you, or a friends with other people is kind of sus. Yeah. That as well. It's like it's it's a little bit like that person before who was like it, that I called out a little bit of like we're not dating but you can't date other people and and I was like who who does that who does that that's not a good thing to do. I need the fur to change direction, like here. Spook is playing Phoenix right without you <laughs> objection. Oh right, the mute I forgot to put that back on. You saw that, huh? There we go. <laughs> Spook can play Phoenix right if he wants. He's a big boy. There's the rough fluff shape. Does it look okay on that? I think it does look okay on that, so we can refine it. It will probably be easier for me to refine it on the flat chest instead of on the uh, female chest. <laughs> Mind your business! It was more jealousy from his own words. He felt useless compared to the other friend who would always almost immediately respond when I was down while the friend was jealous or held back. But I'm usually a tough nut to crack either way when I'm down from my experience, so it usually just ends up being one of the people actually talking to me where I break open and eventually vent after a lot of time. Oh. He was worried I never do that with him, even though I do. It was just a mess because we couldn't openly talk about it until we had a convo where we both broke down. Sorry for the long text today. It's alright, it's alright. Oof, it, it all sounds very messy. It all sounds very messy. 
But hey, if you if you say it's sorted, then that's good at least. Jealous friends for some sort of friend that wanted the restriction. The personalities match so much. <laughs> I'm just, look. Look, I mean I say this from a place of concern because you are my friend. But damn. Red flags. <laughs> Red flags. <laughs> <laughs> Since you want to see the retexture, I'll take some pictures later and send them to you. Please do! I do want to see that. I do want to see that. Speaking of Ace Attorney, there is a shop in a shopping area not far from us that we sometimes go to. That is called Gant, and now we point it out every time we walk past it. That's a fun bit, a tidbit for you. I think they sell clothes. So cute. Hi, Eddie. It's also apparently a manga. It is? Damn, okay. They have enough room and qualities and still want to be around them even with the red flags, but definitely come to a point where uh, the bad things are too much for me. I have to take this back, step back and tell them off. Yep. Just look after yourself. You make me worry. You made me worry. You made me worry about you. There we go, I think. Yeah, that looks all right. These bits here need a bit of better shaping.
remember you actually met the friend that actually comforts me the most when I'm down. It's uh, Chopmeister, if you remember him. Oh, was that when we were watching uh, She-Ra? The no supportive friend was mainly jealous of him. Oh. <laughs> I love playing Brawl Stars and frying my brain over and over until it's charred to a crisp. Hey! Grey Zopo, thank you for the follow. I hope you're having a good time. Crumbles at the touch. <laughs> yeah, me after a long day at work. Big cuddly wolf. Yeah, he seemed nice! I'm happy with that. So save that. So uh, the fa the face and upper body cream bit is all done. So now we need to do the cream on the elbows and the legs. Let's do let's do some belly for a bit. Probably in my right in person, I just managed to upload it, so I'll see you guys later and have a good stream. Bye, V! Enjoy the avatar! Definitely send me pictures! Also, extremely highly crazy. <laughs> you need to find a better game to play. Blue wolf colored arcane loving a aviator wolf. That's me! That's me! Actually, uh, if I recall looking at the reference image of Arcanine, yeah, it looks like the orange goes over the, over the black belly, so the way I'm going to do is, is more kind of like that. I will find her. I will find her if I have to burn down all the Bye, Eddie. They're me. That's right. That's me. That's right. Probably turn the stripe off so I can see where it's connecting there.
Yeah, I'm gonna have this curve around here. Sip, dip, dip, sip. doesn't look too drastic on the nail. It's nice to have that slight defined shape. Thank you for the save reminder. Stripe connects, not quite. So we get we get that little bit of uh, defined definition there. So that's nice. I am gonna I'm gonna do one here just so I can like get the spacing correct. Even though this will be covered covered up most likely. Stuck in your own head, lost in your own bed. Just remember in the darkest night, there's always a candle. Okay, that's the belly sort of giving it shade. So what I'm gonna do is um, apply a mask on the group. I'm gonna copy that mask data and paste it in there. No grip for you, no idea what to do. Crashed and then I'm going to clear that mask. Get it out of my head. Oh, I did that stripe on the wrong layer, huh?
Sometimes it's hard to see But that light can never leave But when the world oh, is no longer bright I didn't even register, I turned off the stripes and I didn't even register that the other one hadn't turned off No misplaced bits. So, in theory, on this shade layer, Nice. That looks nice. I'm also going to do another layer. Uh, we turn off everything except the colour. it on almost. Just like a little like to highlight the chest.
just helps it pop like a little bit. To erase it just a touch. Just to make sure it's not overriding our base colour too much. something good luck with the retext lurk mode activated ah, thank you for the luck best of luck with whatever it is you're doing i'm inside a model again aren't i Let's get out get out of there Change my mind. Still feels like it's touched too much. That's the belly bit kind of like completely done. We did a bit of light and shade on it as well. A bit of orange shade under all these bits. Is, I think as it should be. Potentially pull that out a bit on that longer. Just there, like that. And I did lower that bit, so that bit probably doesn't have on as much. Mm 
sent me the pictures, it looks great. Pretty eyes, oh my goodness. Very pretty eyes. Okay. We're going back to the cream bits. Try to make it even. Even I really roughed in that shape. It's not very even at the moment.
I wonder if I... Actually, this might help me centralise it. Um... Okay, it doesn't quite run down the centre. That's interesting, actually. Move this stuff slightly down. So there's another another one here. I think that's a bit better shape wise though I think I want some little ones here. I think that's probably gonna be the shape of it. We just need to like smooth it all out. Guys, gonna come play Minecraft tonight. Minecraft time. Let's go! Dang! 
darling. Oh, how's it going? How's your day been, sweetie? Me and Rose from PK didn't get off raft until 4 a.m. Oh, I see. Did anybody get eaten by a shark? It's important. To, it's important to know. Yes, me. Oops. <laughs> Oof. I remember the last time I stayed up till 4am playing a video game. It was Terraria. It was probably 2014. It was probably 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, uh, the bleh words. I'm glad you had a good time. I think I may have found the single string of words I hate the most. Watch to the end to find out. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Follow for part two. Ah, I hate it. You, you, you watch though. I'm gonna end up being forced to do that because of content creation. I don't want to. I don't want to. It won't cost much, just your voice. News has been doing that for decades, I hate it, yeah. This thing will kill you, find out after the break. Did you see it? What? Wait, what? For real? Actually upset me. 
No. No, she was a treasure. No way. Oh my god, I'm actually crying. No. No, oh my god. Heartbroken. For real, for real. No. I'm stunned. What a fucking vision, for real. Absolutely none like her. No, she was an actual queen. No. Passed away peacefully in hospital this morning. I didn't even know she was in hospital. She was an intensely private person. She was with friends and family at the end. She leaves two sons, five grandchildren. She'll be crying. Just heard. Isn't it awful? Setting. Ten ten. <laughs> no. Banned for sad vibes. <laughs> no. What did I say? Today's been a fucking roller coaster for real. Ah. Oh my god. That means I, that means we've got to go back up again. <laughs> Need to fix the vibes. <laughs> We're gonna need happy vibes for Minecraft. We gonna we need the good vibes for Minecraft. <sighs> Look, the, uh, I know that a large portion of people will uh, mourn this because of um, the Harry Potter connection, but God, was she so much more than that. She was so much more than just McGonagall. She was amazing. You know which you know which movie I always really liked her in? The Exotic Marigold Hotel. And if you've never seen that film, you should. It's really good and it's got so many class actors in it. I mean, it's got Maggie Smith, it's got Judy Dench, it's got Bill Nye. It's, it's really good. I think I ever saw in The Secret Garden. The Secret Garden! I remember watching that growing up. 
My my grandma had the secret garden on VHS. 1993. The movie's older than me. I remember watching this growing up. Yeah. I remember watching this growing up. Yeah, my grandma had this on VHS. There she is! There she is! Yes, I remember her in this. God, I, I need to- I should rewatch this. I remember, I remember as a kid not getting it, but I think as I grew older I gained a more appreciation for it. Man. As an adult, I fully understand the dad now, right? And I, I feel like, yeah, I should rewatch this with, for, with fresh eyes. I probably haven't seen this for a good 15 years. I hope she'll be remembered for all of the things she did, not just that. Wow. And you know what? Just just like Judy Dench, like beautiful at every stage of life. She has always been gorgeous. What a woman. <sighs> Actually an icon. <sighs> I know she was in Downton Abbey. I didn't watch that, but my mom did. TV must be massive. Oh, absolutely. She she's done so much in her life. The amount of creditations, and she did theatre as well. She didn't just do film; she did theatre. Did a lot of theatre. She has, over, she has over 80 credits on IMDb, and that, that it doesn't include theatre roles because that's just movies. God. It's all right. I was gonna find out eventually. You, you know, for real, I'm more upset about this than I was about the queen dying. Right.
know the most recent bit of media that I saw her in? Yeah, I would have found out. The moment I open up new tab, it's the first thing. The moment I open up a new tab, it's the first thing. Ugh. Is this interview? Hold up. The, the, this interview. If we're asked. We're going to work forever if we're asked. Yeah. But you're always asked first, if I may say so. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I'm turning on you now. <laughs> it's all not, coming out now. Oh, One of my hearing aids is gone. What have we just... Do you want one of mine? <laughs> what? Do you want one of mine? I know it will fit. It's just what was the last thing said. Are we going to go on working forever, Joan? Oh, what's that? And I said Jude gets all the parts first. Oh, no. yeah. I, I tell you, that. my agent in America said to me when, when he knew I couldn't do very much because of the eyesight going, and he said, well, if you do want to come over again, um, we'll look around for a nice little cameo that Judy Dench hasn't got her paws on. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. It's not rude at all. Very, very rude. Well, well they're they American, do darling. That's how they talk. <laughs> I love them. I love them all. I love them all. Tea with the dames. Dame Maggie Smith, Dame Judy Denson, Dame uh, Eileen Atkins. <sighs> Damn. That's going to be you and Curls and Den someday. That's the fucking dream, man. That's the dream right there. If I can age a fraction as gracefully as any of those women, I will be happy. Hang on, I'm texting, texting my mum because my mum's asked me questions.
We need more than pixel flowers. <laughs> throw a puppy or something. <laughs> don't the throw puppy. Don't throw the puppy. The puppy. No, don't throw the puppy. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm, yeah, I'm alright. I'm just messaging mum because mum was asking what I'm doing next week. So you are successfully avoiding her. Really poke her wow. paranoia. Wow. Really poke her paranoia. Yeah, wow, that's so My mean. My daughter doesn't that's love so, me. That's literally what she's doing though because I... When, Normally, normally we meet up with my mum and dad every Tuesday because we can't really go at weekends and we tend to like to have our weekends to do other stuff. So we've gotten into the habit of I see them on Tuesdays because we don't stream until the evening. And I told mum that next week, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be busy doing stuff. So I won't actually be able to, to meet up. And so I've had a text message today. I was just like, I never asked what you're doing on Tuesday. Can we go? Can we go out at the weekend instead? I'm like, I love you, but I literally cannot go a full week without seeing you, apparently. <laughs> But she won't move. No, no, God forbid she try and move closer. Stubborn old nail in the floor. Don't say that, that's me, that's my mum. Thank you very much. She's a lovely woman, but she is stubborn. Yeah, she gets it from her mum, which bodes well for when I become a mother. <laughs> you're going to be single. <laughs> that's what you're going to be. Wow! <laughs> I only marry you while I love you. As soon as that runs out, you out. <laughs> wow, fuck off. <laughs> So don't go changing. <laughs> Try and please me. That's how it works. Pin him. That's how it works. I'm married. In the bin. In the bin. You're in the bin, Dan. You in better the cry. Bin. In the bin. I'm taking my gifts back, then. No. Come here, Archer. No. Archer is a gift. Archer's coming back with me. Yes, yeah, so when you start feeling yourself turn into an old cantankerous old bat, Remember, I will leave. Oh, because you're not going to turn into an old container. I got it over with oh. early. I, I started young, you know, so I can get good know, at it. You know, every time we go over to your mum and John's and you sit there and you roll your eyes when John's complaining about something, that's going to be you! That's you, that is! Look at him and foresee the future! I'll have hair. <laughs> will you? Yes. Will you? Yes, will I'll... You, Mr. Don't point at my hair. Will you, Mr. Receding Hairline? It's a widow's peak. It's a hairstyle. Look like, it up. Like, like Vegeta. <laughs> Look it up, you unconscious swine. Divorce. <laughs> what do you want for dinner? I want you to shut up. Oh, I'll no. blow my nose. That's what I want to do. Yeah, go blow your nose. <sighs> you can hear you sniffing from in here. Blow your nose. Just your usual domestic, everybody. Wah. <laughs>
Those dogs be borking. Water. A little one also down here. What did the original Jack's feathers look like? Jack's feathers have the colour, then the black banding, and then a white tip. So by that logic on these feathers it would be orange, black, and then cream.
watch me cry all night. Isn't it a bit late, see for you? This is true, but I started late because of ev the everything. So I kind of hurt. I'm kind of like making up for it. But I will eventually be forced to stop uh, to make food. Look at the blue stripes! I just straight up copied the wrong colour, huh? Isn't an exploded of the fancy tail, that's a shame. What kind of pattern do I want to do? kind of neat. And then what if I did like a black edge? it like this. And then we had the orange underneath. What if that was like our feather pattern? That's kind of cool, right? Potassium feels low and bananas ain't making me feel better. I'm gonna have to buy three gallons of orange juice and chug it. How do, how does it how can you tell your potassium's low? What do you mean your potassium feels low? What does that even feel like? How do you feel that you have low potassium? severe potassium deficiency when it gets low my muscles get weak and my body goes into paralysis wow damn i was about to be like i was about to be like is it like a like a diabetes thing where you can get like sensors for it that's crazy that's crazy i've never heard of that
I do kind of like that. I'm not gonna lie. I do kind of like that. Neurons are uh, required for neur uh, potassium is required for neurons to sensing us the brain. Ah, oh. so that would explain the paralysis. That's crazy. I never heard of that. Like go around the edge like that. That's kind of neat. Mm, both could work. <coughs> you already need to experience Delta Rune. I do need to play Delta Rune. I literally own it. Another one I've not played. Especially given how much I absolutely adore Undertale.
think putting the black around the outline on the cream bit works. Jesus, I bet feel like steam just went down briefly because I've, literally every person on my friend list has just popped back up again. Fucking go. I feel it in my fingers, I feel it in my toes. These motherfuckers fiends are harmless, and they got to go. So come on, get them now. You picked the wrong day to fuck around with my tight crew. Oh, oh, so I was giving it. I can see you. Here's what we're gonna do. Me and my boys gonna mess you up. I rolled a one, I rolled a one. Fuck. My, my boys, boys are otherwise engaged. <laughs> I cast vicious mockery, not 20, let's go. You're the shot, motherfucker, and nobody likes you. Shot! Everybody says, fuck you, shot that guy is. Never stops you from probing meaning for relationships. When you were born, everybody told that you were just a head. But then the doctor said, wait, this stupid motherfucker's trying to short us. Baby got a tiny little itty bitty body, and I hate it. Your attack lands and absolutely shatters the mind of the cloaked figure. Perception check, please. Not 20, let's go. You perceive the figure was so short because it was a child. It's always a kid. Specifically, the child you've been looking for for the last 15 days game time and five days of our actual lives. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't know I'll be better. The body's just lying there, right? Right? Don't. <laughs> I'm just gonna have the black run all the way down the stem bit. Because this is gonna stay completely cream, because that's how Arcanine's tail looks. The, the, fe the feathers are where we get, like, creative liberty. And because they are literally, like, bands, I feel like it, it works to have them be, like, the stripes. So if anything, I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to do it this way around. To make sure that it's completely filled. And of course, because of the symmetry, we end up with marks on there. So we just turn that off and turn all of that off. Two black stripes running down the side, which I think is a neat look. We could put patterns along it, but that's for maybe later. Pong back over to the body. As we do, we never work on one straight thing, we switch backwards and forwards. She packed my bags last 
night green light just because I was looking at how this stripe interacted with the tail. That was why I ended up doing that. And I'm gonna be high as, as a kite by, by then. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. Forwards and back and forwards and back. <laughs> On such a timeless flight. <laughs> I miss my wife. Miss my wife too. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man yes, they think I am. Ain't the kind of place to raise your kids. In fact, it's cold as hell. And there's, there's no, no one there to raise them. If, if you did, this one is kind of just. It's going to be a long, long time. I got six years to make it all happen. And I can't even pay electricity bills. Got another ten years to feel young again. Cars go by in a motorway station. I watch life go by on a videotape. 
spent a night in the woods just to find direction. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Oh, oh. Is a mess. I watch cars go by on the motorway station. I watch life go by on a video tape. Spent a night in the woods just to find direction. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Oh, oh. curiosity if I go on to our orange shade is this gonna look Probably going to put the uh, dark shading on the stripes as well. I'm not going to put the fur shading around the belly because the shade there is to try and imply that the um, orange fur is going over the black fur a little bit. So if anything, I might put some light on that. a light bit that I can pick from, which is that colour right there. A little bit like that. Thank you. 
ear. Kind of like that. Adds a little degree of contrast. I'm probably going to put some on the uh, cream as well. Is lighter. And I think the way I'm going to do that is kind of like how uh, the bulk birds are doing more of a hard edge. Something of a hard edge to like highlight the edge of areas, which would be like a. Oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. So I want a black mask on there. I want to. Copy that mask and paste it into there. Why did that not do that how it should have? Copy mask. Paste into mask. going over the edges there. Good. So I'm gonna end up doing a bit like that I think maybe? I don't know, I don't know if hard edge is better or if the soft, a soft gradient is better. judge. I'll have, a, I'll have to have a think and I'll have a play, but that is probably going to have to be left until Monday because it's now six o'clock and that leaves two hours until Minecraft, so I definitely need to go and prepare food because that could take up to an hour in and of itself. Good progress today. We got the stripes on, so now it actually looks like an Arc 9 and uh, we've refined quite a few areas. The face area is like fully refined, as is this kind of like uh, the main mane. Uh, we haven't quite done all of the cream. The leg and the arms need a little bit more refining, but I refined the pear shape at least a little better. Um, and yeah, we've made a start on that stripe and also workshopped getting some feather colours in, which I actually kind of like. Very much like this one like what I've got going on with there. This maybe could do with a little bit of work, or maybe I just need to shape it more. I don't know. So I should probably, like, because I really like that pattern, I will need to copy it across to the other feathers, which might be a bit tricky. Um, so still a lot to do yet, so I don't think I'm going to tease this just yet. I did tease the uh, Renamon Volpa when we did it, the Digital Fox, um, which seemed to go down quite well. Um... So I would like to potentially tease this when it is closer to completion. Um, especially because if I, te I tease it, I wanted to drum up interest, but I don't want to tease it so early that like people then forget I'm doing it if it's been like two weeks. And it may be another two weeks before I get this done because next week uh, we have to do video editing. And video editing always seems to take like a full week for me to do. So yes. So in the meantime, uh, I will see you guys for Minecraft. Uh, and see some of you on the server. Stay later.
And, um, yeah. I imagine, from what I gather, a lot of people have builds that they want to show me, and some people have been making their gyms. Hola, Blue, I'm back. Hi, Eddie, I am signing off. <laughs> You're like a boomerang, you are. You keep coming and going and coming and going. <laughs> but thank you all the same. But yeah, I'm signing off to go have dinner, and then we'll be back in two hours. We'll be back in two hours. Another full day, much like our Wednesday. Be back in two hours to play Minecraft. So I hope to see you there. It's like 107 right now. You should go to bed. You should get some sleep. Right. Right. It's been a while. Go to bed. Right. See you in two hours, guys. I'm gonna go sort out food. Bye.